Hello there everyone, I am Pepino, back for another KSP tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to cover getting up into orbit, actually orbiting and changing your orbit, how you do that, and how you get to the moon, hopefully successfully land on the moon, and then return to Kerbin. So, it is a big, big episode uh, in this tutorial. I'm not sure how many episodes it's going to be, but that's what we're going to do with this mission. So, here is our lander can where our brave Kerbal will ride on his journey to the moon. The first thing I'm going to want to do is put a fuel tank here below the lander can. And uh, let's put actually a SAS right on top. There we go. Alright, um, now we're going to want a very small engine below this fuel tank and the reason for that is we're going to be landing and this is going to be the final stage of the rocket and it's only going to have to carry like this little bit and so it should be pretty safe um, and we shouldn't have to worry about um, needing a ton of fuel so having the small engine and the little fuel tank is a good thing. If we had one of the bigger engines it would burn through this far too quickly. Um, okay, now what we're going to want to do is design our landing stage now because we got to kind of think backwards in our mission as we build the craft so this is the final stage of the craft and actually it's gonna look like that because then we're gonna put some decouplers here and we are going to have fuel tanks out here there we go how does that look? Not quite centered. There we are, that looks better. Okay, so we've got our four fuel tanks out here, and in fact, we may want to bring them down a bit if we can. And we're going to want to put engines on these, so we are going to go back to the good old swivel engines. Now, uh, you can sort of see this taking shape here. We're going to want to strut it up. So connect our um, rockets at the bottom and the top here just to maintain stability and then make sure you always uh, connect it to the cockpit here. So we'll go from the outer piece into the middle there and that is connected up. Okay. Uh, so we've got our two stages here. This is going to be the stage, ideally, that we land with, and this will be um, and part of what we take off with, and then this will be the stage that gets us back up into lunar orbit. Now, what we want to build on the top here of this little final stage of the craft is actually a docking port. And you want to put docking ports on your ships uh, whenever you can and they're under utility. So, we click on the Clampotron docking port and we could put that one on there or we could put the shielded docking port on which is what we're gonna do because we're gonna be screaming up through the atmosphere so we will put our shielded docking port there and then we will have uh, looks like our basic lander. Now the thing is I'm not going to return this craft to Kerbin what I'm going to do is actually get Jeb um, back up into orbit, either around the moon or around Kerbin, and then we're going to go send a mission in another tutorial uh, to dock up to him so we can learn about docking, and then we're going to rescue him from orbit and return him uh, safely. So, that's going to be the plan. That is why I'm not putting any parachutes or anything on this landing stage. The other thing that we'd better do is we better put some RCS uh, on this final stage here. The reason we definitely want RCS is because if we're going to be docking it is very very helpful to have RCS on your craft. So we could put some let's see can we yes okay by hitting uh, W A S D Q and E you can change where your parts go. So what we're gonna do we're going to place a few of these uh, RCS fuel tanks actually inside these struts here, or these 
pieces, whatever you call them. So that's going to be good, and that will give us plenty of RCS fuel on our final stage of our craft. So we might as well rename this Tutorial Moon Lander. There we go, and we'll save. Now, what we need to build next is the launch stage that's actually going to get this up out into space. So, uh, what we're going to do is, I think, add a decoupler to the bottom of this engine here in the middle. So we'll take that right there, there we go, and we want it to fire, as soon as this decouples we probably want these to fire, so we'll put it in the same stage there. And then we're going to build our uh, launch stage from here. So, what we want to do is, basically, since I'm in sandbox mode, I can afford to overdo it. So we want to build a very large launch stage. If you're in uh, career mode and stuff like that, you have to be a lot more careful about what you use. Uh, but here, we can just spend unlimited money. So, let's just get a large orange tank here and we will zoom on out and uh, build this heavy launcher now what we're gonna do is we're going to put an engine where is it let's put a skipper engine on this little uh, middle piece here and then we are going to go to where is it at um, structural radial decouplers and let's get six of them. And we're going to place them a little below uh, the halfway point of the orange tank there. And we are going to put a bunch more orange tanks on that. So this is uh, basically my old faithful uh, heavy launcher design for um, sandbox mode. I haven't actually tested it in the new aerodynamics model, but I think it should still work fine. Um, hopefully, at least. So, we will get uh, an engine here, and let's get the mainsail engines and place them on these outer um, pieces here. So, now what I'm going to teach you is called asparagus staging, and it's very useful um, in Kerbal Space Program for being fuel efficient. What we're going to do is we are going to have to individually place fuel lines or fuel ducts. So we will hit our symmetry until we get it down to one and we'll place a fuel duct from here to here and then from here to here. Skip one and then go from here to here and here to here. Then uh, you see what you've done here is you've set up a system where this is feeding this tank here is feeding into this tank which is feeding into this tank. So all of these engines, these three engines will be burning fuel from this tank first and then you set up your staging so that you ditch this tank when it's empty and the same goes for the tank opposite it. So Basically, if you follow that, you're feeding fuel through here and out into all three of these engines, so this tank should run out first, then this tank, then this tank. And what that does is it allows all these engines to be firing, basically, and you carry as little fuel as possible because you can ditch the tanks earlier. If you didn't do this, you would have to wait for all these tanks to burn down at the same rate, and you'd be hauling six tanks until there was no fuel left and that would be a lot less efficient. So, then what you also do is the last tank that is being fed into, you put a fuel duct from that into your central tank. And again, same thing on the opposite side. So basically you want them all to be lined up opposite each other, just like that. And that is essentially asparagus staging. Now what you need to do is add a few stages here because you need to separate these things all right so how you do that is you click on them to get them all to pop up and then you take uh, the ones you want to drop first 
which is obviously this first tank that is feeding into the others. So, you hover over that and you can see which one it is. You see the little white box popped up over this one? So you drag that down into the first thing. Get it to pop up again, and then you go to the one opposite that, which is right over here. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. So, here's another hint. If you click on something that you did not want, you can drop it off, hit Control Z. And Control Z will be undo, and everything is back to just as it was. So, let's try that again. And now, which one do we want? We want it to be this one. All right, we want these other green things to go away. Okay, so we want this one right here, which is the second one down. So we drag that into there. So that is your first asparagus stage that is going to drop. And you can see that is correct. If we hover over, yeah. Okay, then you want your second stage here, which is this top one. And then opposite that is this middle one. Okay, and there you go. That is your asparagus staged rocket. So when we fly this, uh, all six engines will fire. And in fact, we could have all seven engines firing because we have the fuel feeding through. So all these engines are gonna fire and you'll see first these few tanks will run out and we can drop them so that is going to be that we will save this and then uh, the other thing we need to do is just strut the heck out of it um, so let's just try this and this oh wait hold on a moment forgot one important thing uh, before we put our struts we need to get our symmetry back to times six otherwise uh, we're gonna be placing struts for a very long time and this one we gotta click on it when the tank is not highlighted because if we click on it on that we're just clicking on the tank all right well I there we go finally I'm able to grab that one and now we've got struts across everywhere. Let's connect them to the middle here, like that, and connect again, Then we'll connect down at the bottom from the middle tank out to the outer tanks, just like that, and that is a lot of struts, and it should be ready and raring to go. Um, then, what I'm going to want to do is get my symmetry to times four, which I can do by hovering over something that has symmetry times four. And then bring this down, and I want to connect up to here, and up to here. Okay, so that is the moon lander complete and built, and hopefully that'll be enough uh, to get us up to the moon, land, and uh, leave the moon. Then, uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. It is not built yet. I forgot one important, very important thing, um, which we need to add, and that is obviously landing gear. So, we're going to put this on, and what you gotta do to make sure it works is you start deployed. And what you gotta do is make sure that's lower than the bottom of your rocket, which it is. So if these engines were below this, let's say we had placed this um, not right, whoops, not right down at the bottom, hold on. If we could click on the landing gear itself, if we had placed it up here, higher in the craft, we would have some issues because the engines are just as low as the landing legs and maybe even a bit lower and they would hit the ground first and your landing legs would then be useless. So that's why you place them way down at the bottom and make sure that they cover down over the engines. Then you can change it back to retracted to start because you know that they work. And there is your rocket ready to go. To actually add a bit of aerodynamic um, stability and whatnot, we are going to add nose cones to all of these. So. Let's see, where is the 
larger protective rocket cone. There we go, and it's not touching any of the engines, nothing. Okay, good. That looks like it should hopefully work. Hopefully. Again, I have not tested this really in the new aerodynamic model, but let's give it a try. Okay, so I forgot this on my ship, but I realized it during the mission, so I've come back and I'm adding this to this episode. You need to add a few more things to this ship. You need to add, under utility, you're going to want to put a ladder, obviously, so that your Kerbals can get down and actually explore. So, uh, what you're going to want to do is grab this thingy and place one right here. You can extend to see how far down it goes, and that should get sort of close to the ground. Um, so what you may want to do is... Uh, if you want to, you could probably jump and use your jetpack to reach the ladder, I'll be honest, but if you really want, what you can do is you can add, um, well, if you add a structural piece here, you could add another ladder. Yeah, that should, I think, work. Or wait, is this, it's connecting to the ladder. Hold on. We need to retract this place this right here and then put under utility grab another ladder and put it right there so then you would have these two ladders that extend down whoops nope gotta check that so you did not work so you hit um let's see w there you go hit w twice and place it they line up pretty well that should work and there you go then what you're gonna want to add is more battery packs which I forgot to add so we can place them four times symmetry we'll just place them like right there and then uh, you're gonna want solar panels or um, it's either solar panels or generators so this is a generator um, which basically gets you just endless power so I'm going to use that and we'll just hit W to make it flat and place it against there so hopefully yeah no that doesn't interrupt the ladder at all so there you go that is your ship and it should have now everything you need if you want to bring this back to the atmosphere you could add parachutes and a heating shield somewhere like I taught you in the first uh, of my tutorial videos but um, that's not what we're going to do with this ship. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time where we fly this ship, uh, land on the moon, and then hopefully return. So, thank you for watching. See you then.